Good evening and welcome to Compline on Wednesday evening. Let's begin with a moment of quiet, just to spend a little bit of time with God in order that we can, I suppose, clear our minds of the day and help us to concentrate wholly and fully on him. So just close your eyes and let me guide you. Heavenly Father, as we come to you this evening, help us to put aside our day, our concerns, our worries, those things that occupy our minds so much in our mind's eye. Let's just imagine all those things that we've got on our hearts and our minds. And let's just put them on a shelf for a while until we're rested, until we're strong enough to deal with them again. And as you've put them on the shelf, then sit down and turn your back on them just for a while. For now, they don't matter. What matters is this time with your Heavenly Father. And as you sit, concentrate on your breathing and try to slow it down just a little bit. And as we breathe in, we breathe in the holiness and the beauty and the grace of God. And we breathe in all that is good. And as we breathe out, let's expel all those things that are not of him. That ruin our peace. That keep us awake. So we breathe in all that is good. And breathe out all that is not. Calm me, O oh Lord, as you still the storm. Still me, O oh Lord. Keep me from harm. Let all the tumult within me cease. Enfold me, Lord, in your peace. Father, bless the work that is done and the work that is to be. Father, bless the servant that I am and the servant that I will be. Thy Lord and God of power, shield and sustain me this night. I will lie down this night with God, and God will lie down with me. <coughs> I will lie down this night with Christ, and Christ will lie down with me. I will lie down this night with the Spirit, and the Spirit lie down with me. God and Christ and the Spirit be lying down with me. Tonight we're still in Matthew and we are looking at um, Matthew 7 verses 24 to 27. 
Anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise. Like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Though the rain comes in torrents and the floodwaters rise, it won't collapse because it is built on bedrock. But anyone who hears my word, hears my teaching and does not obey it is foolish. Like a person who builds a house on sand. When the rains and the floods come, it will collapse with a mighty crash. The analogies that Jesus gives us here and teaches us about is about a firm foundation in the Christian faith. If we want to build our lives on something solid, then we must truly believe that Jesus is the Son of God and that his teachings will help us live with wisdom and with purpose. Do you strive to know and follow Jesus by meditating on his words and obeying his message? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, help us to build on solid rock, to build on your truths, on your words that never change, never wear out, never sink, never stop. Father, help us to daily remind ourselves that you are our Lord and Saviour. You are our solid rock. And Father, help us to put away the things of the world that are so fleeting and so flimsy and so untrustworthy and untrue. Father, yes, help us to live in this world, but help us to rely 100% on you. Father, we know this last year for so many, so many of us have been so tough. A lot of what we knew has changed. A lot of what we've done or used to do has changed. And Father, things have become so uneasy, uneven confusing and Father in all of this we ask help us to trust you implicitly help us to know that you are there every step every turn every breath we take Father, help us to build our lives on solid rock, to build our lives on you. And Father, to remember that even though the earth may wobble, friendships may wobble, finance, everything may not be stable, that you are our solid rock. Let's finish our prayers by saying the Lord's Prayer together, shall we? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours. <coughs> Excuse me. 
now and forever. Amen. The peace of God be over me to shelter me, under me to uphold me, about me to protect me, behind me to direct me, ever with me to save me. The peace of all peace be mine this night, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me. Good night and God bless you.